My name is Michael Swigmeyer. I am a design engineer here in our bow groups, and I am the project lead here on updating the pneumatics on the Boiler Maker Special. The team consisted of myself, Michael Spickelmeyer, the lead engineer on the project, Jacob Hill, the valve engineer on the project, Aaron Pfeiffer, the air prep and connector engineer, Andy Crawl, our cylinder engineer, and Jackson McKinney is an intern with us this summer and goes to Purdue and is also a member of the Remers Club and helped with the electrical on the train. The Boilermaker Special is the official mascot of Purdue University. Purdue has had eight trains since 1940 and the idea for an official mascot was first developed when the Boilermaker Special was born. Today, Purdue is on its seventh edition of the Boilermaker Special, but an eighth edition also exists and is known as the Extra Special. The Boilermaker Special is here because we are replacing the pneumatic equipment in it, and this includes uh, valves, airline equipment, and cylinders. Our product operates all the horns and the cylinders that make the cow catcher go up, uh, makes all the noises, and annoys you in the morning. So the equipment on the VMS was about 20 years old. Dirty and grimy, and there was oil, and the valves, and the filter. The filter element was covered in oil. Um, and this is terrible for the system. It increases the lifespan of the equipment. So the first thing we updated here at the front is the cow catcher cylinder. So it is pressurized to raise it to drive, and then while they're in parades or park, they can lower it. It is lowered using gravity. And then in the cool car, we have another cylinder that actuates the CO2. So we'll go back in the cool car and take a look at that. So here we have the CO2 cylinder. It actuates this lever arm here, which allows CO2 to flow to the front stack and allows CO2 to go out. Here is our entire air prep setup along with our valves that actuate all the horns. We labeled all the tubes, all the wires. We have our VQC 4000 manifold here that actuates all of our horns, the cow catcher, the bell, CO2, any cylinder or any horn is actuated here. We have our safety dump valve here as a manual shutoff in the cab to allow them, if something goes wrong, they can kill air pressure to the system as long with a manual shutoff. And to talk about our air prep, we're gonna have Aaron talk about that. This is the FRO unit, so you have a manual shutoff valve, the filter for the air, a regulator, and then a blow-off valve, similar to the manual shutoff. This is controlled by the panel up in the cabin, and I believe Michael will talk more about that. We made them a new control panel. Here is the old one that we took out and replaced. We have a power switch for them that lights up. We have all the switches labeled along with every button has one, two, three, or five for all the horns, along with this bottom one is the CO2, and when you press it, the ring lights up. <laughs> Lastly, we replaced
place all the tubing for the train, along with the wiring harness to the manifold. The last step is to give the train back to the Green Roof Club and uh, let them wake some more students up now that all the horns are louder. So this project is important to me because um, I went to Purdue in Indianapolis and I graduated with a mechanical engineering degree. So it's really exciting to be able to work on a project like this and be hands-on with um, different airline equipment and working with different members of um, SOC Corporation that are in the develop group, cylinder group, and the electrical group. This project is important to me because I went to Purdue University Northwest and got a degree in mechanical engineering. Uh, my degree says Purdue on it and I have a lot of family that went to Purdue and a lot of friends so getting to work on this is, is really cool. This project's important to me because I'm one of the members of the Reamer Club at Purdue. So if you don't know, the Reamer Club are the caretakers of the Boilermaker Special and the Boilermaker Extra Special. So it's really cool here that I can do an internship and do something that I'm a part of at Purdue. So this project is special to me. Um, I'm a former Purdue alumni, still am an alumni, I guess. Um, so uh, this thing woke me up at 7.30 for many years at Purdue and uh, if I can do that for future Purdue engineers, by golly, I want to give them that experience.